Hey Chef, we're back again. What are we doing? Uh, today we're doing Nona's meatballs. Uh, specifically, my grandma Marianne. These are these are the real deal meatballs. These are uh, Sicilian um, and, and meatballs done the right way. Okay. So first thing we're going to start with is our ground beef and pork mixture. All right, and there's a little bit of veal in there. I can't tell you the ratios because it's a highly guarded secret and I would be uh, risking national security if I did so. So, And, and you're Sicilian, so and, I know what that means. That's right. So now, we've got uh, this beautiful mix here. Uh, I like to use Pecorino Romano cheese, that's a sheep's milk, right, versus, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, uh, Pecorino sheep's milk cheese versus your uh, Parmigiano Reggiano, which is cow's milk, right? So we, we got our cheese, we do a little parsley, okay? A little tiny bit of chopped garlic, not much you can see for the amount, right, that we're right. doing. It's already pretty. S and P, okay. And then eggs, we've got, uh, it's roughly three per pound. So I've got about a pound and a half of meat. So I'm gonna do uh, five eggs, just to be on the safe side. Better safe than sorry. That's right. And, um, one, two, we got one, two, three, four. All right, five. Beautiful. No shells allowed. Okay. Progresso breadcrumbs or four C. My, this is what my grandmother used. So if it's good enough for her, it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. As you can see, a lot of this is eyeballed. It's sure. just from doing it time after time after time. Uh, Chef, you got milk over there? Yes, I got milk right here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> so, put a little bit of milk. Now, when you're Vanna, like Vanna White. Oh, uh, so we got uh, uh, the mix here ready to go, and you don't want to work this bread into there too much because what you're doing is you're developing gluten, right? And that's good. that's what's going to make the meatballs tough. Makes sense. That's what's going to make them very, uh, like, you have meatballs that are like rocks, then there's, you're, you're working the gluten too much. You want the mix nice and loose, okay? This is a little bit, a little bit too loose, so I'm going to add a little bit more, a little bit more breadcrumb, bind it up a little bit, but you don't want to work this too much. Looks, it smells like it. Yeah, you can smell that beautiful cheese, really the garlic. Can. Uh, and this, it, the, the Progresso breadcrumbs, I'm telling you, that's, you know, the meatballs at my grandmother's house tasted so amazing, and they always smelled so good, and that was the one, you know, that's what you always smelled was the, was the breadcrumbs, they just, they have this certain smell to them. So this is, this is what you want, this is what you want it to look like. You want it relatively loose like that. You don't want a real dense, um, you know, real dense mix. Sure. So let me get these out of the road here. Okay. Now, I got my pan hot. I use a, an olive oil blend. Some vegetable and some olive oil, okay? We're gonna fry these, it's called a shallow fry. All right, got medium heat. Now, when you're, when you're patting these up, when you're making these into, they're actually more like patties and balls, ice water's the key. Some people will use, um, They'll use oil to put oil on their hands so that the, the mix doesn't stick. You want to use ice water, okay? You ever try to wash butter off your hands sure. with cold water? Doesn't work, right? right. So the, the fat in the meat is what sure. is what uh, is, is going to be repelled by the cold water. So this is how you want these bad boys to look, right? Like a like a like a patty, right? Okay. Wow. And they don't have to be perfectly round. Uh, you know, the, the, if they're too round, you know, that's one they make in the factory. Right, right. You know. So I'm just going to let, I'm going to do a couple of these so you can see. And I have some that have been cooking back there. After we fry them, just fry the outside, we put them in our San Marzano tomato sauce. And they go for about half an hour. And uh, we're going to pull those out. We're going to put some fresh basil, some more pecorino, and we'll be off to the races. So, just to give you a quick idea. Oh, wow. 
That's what you're looking at, okay? That's about the color that you want. Those are perfect. And then into the sauce for about a half an and hour. And then they'll go into the sauce for a half an hour, right? So let's get let's get the ones that have been cooking. Oh yeah. Right? Oh. Right? We're gonna take some nice fresh basil. on top. Beautiful. A little bit of the Pecorino Romano. Fresh mozzarella. Okay. Put it in the master, in the, beast. the master blaster. Just a, just a couple minutes. So Chef, this is going on menu next week? Yeah, Monday, starting Monday, uh, possibly Wednesday. We, still have, to, we have some costing. Uh, to, you know, uh, things we have to do to make sure that, you know, it's priced right. We're going to be launching a new menu next week with uh, Nana's meatballs, and we're going to have French onion soup. That's what's working here right that's now. What that's what I've been smelling. Yeah. Okay. Smell-o-vision. Oh, smell my smell-o-vision, man. Beautiful. Awesome. Oh, I can hear it cooking in there. Yeah. A cheese melting away. So this is like meatball farm on steroids. Clean the plate, we're ready to yep. go out. A little bit of cheese, and there you have it. Voila, beautiful. Well, Chef, start next week, we'll have it. Come by and get some, folks. You got it. Thanks again, Chef. Like you, Bella. Ciao. See you later. Yep.